Hello, welcome to question number one of uh, WASI 2025, the further mathematics for the Ghanaian student, section B. So a binary operation uh, plus in the circle is defined on a set of real numbers by this definition. So P operated by Q equals to PQ divided by 7 plus P plus Q where P and Q are all elements of the a real set. So we have to find the inverse of negative 2 under that operation. Find the true set of M operation on 5 equals to M operation on what? 7. Alright. So first thing first, looking for inverse of operation, we need to first find the identity element of that operation. So let's see. We let E which is also going to be a member of the real set be the identity element so if it is the identity element what do we need to do so now that we have this the identity element when operated on by any uh, element it must give us that same element so i can say that when p is operated on by E, I'm supposed to get P. Or when E is also operated on by the P, where E is the identity element, we are expected to get back what? The P. That is how the identity element is being derived when the operation is being operated by this definition. Alright, so what do we do? We are going to pick any of them, either this equals to P or this. Let's go with the beginning. So P operated by E, we are expected to have for P. But what does this operation, the addition in the circle mean? It means multiply the two numbers, divide by 7 plus the first plus second. So right from the left there, we are saying multiply the two numbers. So that becomes P plus E divided by 7 plus the first number, P plus the second number, which is E we are expected to have for the P. Alright, so what do we do? We, are, we just want to find that identity element of the operation. So we hold on to the E, uh, take away any other variables that we have. We can move this away so that we deal with the two terms or right away multiply by 7. It is your choice. So if I multiply by 7, I should have PE plus 7 P plus 7e equal to 7p. So now I cannot group like terms. Uh, okay. Yeah. E is here. E is here. So let the e stay together. Pe plus 7e equals to this very 7p minus this 7 word p. E is in two places. We need only one. So we factorize. So take the e out. Leave it with P plus 7. 7P seven minus 7P give you what? 0. So now we hold on to the E. Divide both sides by the P plus 7. And that will still give us what? 0. So here we can conclude and say the identity element for this operation by E definition is going to be what? 0. The moment we get 0, it means we can still find the events of this operation. So let's begin with the inverse. So what will be the inverse? Okay, let's P prime. Let's the P prime as the inverse of that. So how, how do we put that? We are still look with the, the P, right? So we can still have the P operated on by the inverse of that. We are expected to have for the E. But don't forget, we already found the e to be zero. So we only substitute e there. So what do I do? I'm having the definition say that find the product of the two uh, elements divided by seven plus the first one plus the second one equals to identity element, which is what? Zero. Remember, the question is on inverse. <coughs> so we have the inverse, inverse. So we need to maintain the inverse at one side. So still multiply 2 by 7. That gave you P 
inverse like this, plus this seven p seven p prime zero times seven is what zero. So from here, let's see. We have to group like terms. Maintaining the p p prime still plus seven p prime equals to zero minus seven what p. What do we do? We just need to make the p prime the subject by factorization and divide the negative p seven p by the coefficient we get. So by continuation, you can have your p prime into bracket divided by this give you p plus 7 equals to negative 7 what p but don't forget it is the inverse you're looking for so p prime equals to negative 7 p divided by what p plus what 7 so now we find the inverse of the operation but that is not what we are looking for we are looking for the inverse of this as the image to be a negative 2 of this inverse. So here, we can only say that, uh, therefore, the inverse, which is this, of negative 2. Let me see, I can put all like this. This is taking this place. Then the P will have that this. Don't forget the P is there. The inverse is what you have here. So the inverse of P. So inverse of negative 2. Become negative 7 times p, which is negative 2, divided by p, which is negative 2, plus 1, 7. So I guess I can have 14, I can have four, 5. So the inverse that we are looking for in this case is going to be 14 on what? Uh, 5 as the first part of it. The second part is going to be the truth set of this. Okay, so let's now, don't forget the operation is still being defined by the previous uh, definition. So the product of the first two, meaning 5 times m divided by 7, the first term plus m plus the second term 5 equals to product of the first two terms, 7m divided by the 7, not this 7, plus the first term, plus the second term. That is what we have. I can solve it directly, leaving it the way they are in this way. You see here, if I group like terms for this M, they will subtract. I can group that like term, group this together, then group this together. Or, I just go ahead and multiply by 7, which is the LCM. So multiply here by 7, give me 5M, this give you 7 m 35 7m this is also 7m 49 so now i can group the the m m m together so in the case of this this is going to be 12 m and bringing this as negative 14 m equals to uh, 49 minus what 35, right? You should have negative 2m equals to positive, what will it be? If I add 5 to this, I'll be, so 14. So what do we do? Negative 2m divided by negative 2. 14 divided by negative 2. m is going to be negative 7. So therefore, we can see that the truth set is a set of m such that m is equal to what? Negative 7. You can try and see whether what we have is true. If I put 7, negative 7 there, you give me negative 5. Minus 7 plus 5. Negative 7 here. Negative 7. This is going to be uh, the m will still be negative 7, they are with 4, plus 7. This will give you 0. This will also give you 0. So it's true. The value of uh, M is really what? Negative 4. 
uh, uh, negative uh, seven. All right, still having some cold, so my nose are blocked, so I'm sure. But the concept you followed, like, share, comment, subscribe, and bye. -bye.